I'm Dr. Dennis Stein in pediatric endocrinology at UC Davis Medical Center. I love this field of pediatric endocrinology, not the least of which is the fact that we can take care of almost all the problems we see. For instance, Dr. Nicole Glazer, my long-term colleague, is internationally regarded as an expert in diabetic ketoacidosis and the prevention of cerebral edema. The thing I love about pediatric orthopedics is that kids, they like to run, play, and be active. And so the thing that I get to do is I get to take kids who have acute problems like fractures, who are in car accidents, who have falls, or they have congenital problems they're born with, or they have sports injuries, and then fixing them and then letting them get better. And they, they you know, the outcomes are really good. So that's what I like about it. Pediatric nephrology is a specialty in which we take care of a wide variety of different types of kidney diseases. Most of the parents who are here, they didn't expect their baby to come here. They were expecting to have a baby that was born at the right time, and suddenly something happened, either a baby with a birth defect or a baby with an infection or a baby born premature, and all of a sudden the world's different. Uh, more important, we're just you know grateful and uh, honored that families bring their infants and children here to let us take care of them. I mean, that's a, the ultimate trust. If you think about what a parent faces when they're trying to decide where their child or baby should be cared for, how can they know what a hospital will provide the best care? Just um, making ourselves more visible to the community is really important because we have instances where we have kids and families who travel to the Bay Area for other things that we can do um, better. You know, before I got here, most of the children were being brought down to the Bay Area. Uh, and that's completely changed as this uh, medical center has grown and our practice has grown. And because of that growth and that trust of the families, it's allowed us to build our system and make this a more comprehensive center. Originally, this was a community facility taking care of the Sacramento area. But over the 33 years I've watched this place evolve, we've got national recognition such as U.S. News and World Report. These ranking systems are helpful in recognizing whether hospitals are reaching certain standards, and they're helpful in recognizing how hospitals viewed by peers, by others in the same field. I just know we're in the top 50. It changes every year, but I think we've maintained that for five or six years. So um, my goal is just to be in the ranking. Uh, that's a really difficult uh, designation to get. Uh, because you have to be uh, recognized by your peers nationally as serving uh, the pediatric community and having uh, respect nationally. And so uh, we're the highest ranked uh, pediatric subspecialty hospital in orthopedics in Northern California. And I think the area should be proud of the fact that we have so many children's services ranked on this list of U.S. News and World Report. I think what you want is the very best care for your little baby and you probably don't care where it's going to be as long as you're getting the very best on day one, on day two. Once you get to day seven and day ten, you're also going to be recognizing that being close to home, being close to family is going to become important. So if you live in Sacramento and you have a small sick baby or a big sick baby and you have to choose, should I go to Stanford, should I go to Oakland, should I go to San Francisco or should I come to UC Davis, you can get all the care for your baby and the same high quality outcome here that you can in the Bay Area, but you get to be close to home so you can continue to have the rest of the important things in your life.